Yi Zheng Han was one of the most unique and daring artists of her time, truly standing out amongst her contemporaries. She fearlessly took risks with her music and image, transforming into different characters to convey the ideas behind her songs. From her bold fashion choices to her innovative music style, Yi pushed boundaries and broke convention in the music industry. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Midnight Theories, and if you're new here, welcome to Midnight Theories. Today we turn our attention to the multi-talented Yi Jung Hyun. This legendary singer and actress was unique in her approach to music and performance. Witness why she is considered to be a one-of-a-kind star in K-pop and may never be replicated. What do you want to be when you grow up? It's an age-old question that often left us daydreaming about what our future could look like. What dreams did you want to turn into reality? Was it a career in the entertainment industry, becoming a scientist, a firefighter, or maybe you preferred a creative career? For Yi Jung Han, her answer seemed to change with each new discovery. At the age of four, Yi discovered Michael Jackson. Whenever she heard one of his songs playing on the radio, she would immediately break out into dance, throwing her cap on the floor and mimic his steps. It was then that she dreamed of becoming a singer. Where there is love, I'll be there. When she entered grade school, her answer changed again. This time, astronomer. Stars in space became her new obsession. She loved to stargaze and dream about what it would be like to work at NASA, ride a rocket, and visit another planet. Other times, she dreamed of becoming the first scientist to create a time machine. <laughs> Entering her early teens, Yi Jung Hyun became consumed with pop culture and the entertainment industry as a whole. It was at this point Yi knew she wanted to enter the entertainment industry. And at the age of 15, an opportunity finally presented itself. Yi Jung Hyun was the youngest of five daughters. She described her parents as being strict, but still gave her a lot of freedom when it came to her interests. While attending high school, Yi read in the newspaper that critically acclaimed director Chang Sung Woo was holding open auditions nearby. Having no prior experience, Yi was hesitant to audition, but one of her teachers helped her gain the confidence to do so, leading Yi to take the first steps in the entertainment industry. In 1996, the film A Petal, starring 15-year-old Yi Jung Hyun, was released. The film tells the story of a girl who experienced the Gwangju uprising at the age of 15 and its effects on her life years later. Over 3,000 applicants auditioned for the role, Yet it was Jung Han, a girl with no prior acting experience, who landed the role. At the time, most of the film staff and officials were against Lee Jung Han for that very reason. It was director Jung who actively pushed Lee Jung Han to be cast, stating that her appearance fit the role of the girl in the screenplay perfectly. However, when the shooting finally began, Lee became overwhelmed and froze on set, showing the staff how inexperienced she was. Lee said, that the director threw the script in anger and shouted, Who picked this girl? and stopped filming. That night, Yi cried in her dormitory and decided she would try method acting. I thought because I can't act, I simply have no choice but to become that kind of person. The next morning, the rookie actress wandered the streets for hours before every shoot. 
and people in the neighborhood began to think she was really a troubled child and took her in to feed her and wash her. The director and cast members warned Lee jung Hyun about method acting and told her, quote, you have to return to your original self after the filming is over, knowing that method acting can sometimes completely consume the actor. Fortunately for Lee jung Hyun, after filming was over, she was able to return to her original state without any complications. Her performance in the movie did not go unnoticed, and she won the Best New Actress Award at the 34th Grand Bell Awards, the 17th Blue Dragon Film Awards, and the 16th Korean Association of Film Critics Awards. In addition, Lee also participated in the album. Although her singing has not been polished, the rookie actress provided her vocals for the soundtrack. Following her 1996 appearance in a pedal, Lee jung Hyun starred in the NBC dramas Open Your Heart and Seven Spoons. From this point on, Lee became high in demand and played a variety of characters. As the actress's popularity grew, she was requested to appear in music videos as well. Although not officially a singer just yet, in March 1999, Lee was invited to participate in the song Now and New, a collaborative project featuring the top Korean singers at the time. The song was to comfort the people who were in despair due to the IMF crisis. In May, Lee jung Hyun appeared in the music video for The Rule of the Game by Goofy, a group known for their club bangers. <laughs> Goofy's producer, Shin Chol, heard about Lee jung Hyun's unusual, otherworldly dance moves and knew he needed her on set. Originally, Lee jung Hyun was only supposed to appear in the music video for a few seconds. However, the actress was able to entrance the crew with her ecstatic dance that she completely took over the music video. Years later, in an episode of Sugar Man, the group shared the backstory of the music video. They said that jung Hyun memorized all the lyrics of Lee Sung Kwang's parts on the day of the filming. Her energy was so good that they kept most of her shots, eliminating the original singer from the music video, aside from some of the group shots. After the music video was released, the actress's status rapidly grew, leading her to receive many love calls from several music producers. It was said that many producers fought with each other trying to sign her. Because of this, the actress was able to choose the contents of her contract in her favor. After her appearance in Goofy's music video, E participated as a feature in Chopi D's lead single, Fever, off his second album, In Stardom Version 2.0. Yeah, that same Cho P. D. who created the boy groups Block B and Top Dog. For the collaboration between Jung Hyun and Cho P. D., the team flew to New York to record the single. The trip was quietly kept under wraps as E was preparing for her own solo debut and enlisted the help of Sai and Cho P. D. Both singers participated in the production of her album with the songs Bird and I Love X. After a few short months of promoting with Cho P. D., Jung Hyun announced that she would be debuting as a singer. The public instantly grew curious about what new image she would share next. At first, she was recommended a concept similar to Um Jung Hwa's I Don't Know and Che Jung An's Heartless, but Jung Hyun refused. In a 2014 interview with Showbiz Korea, the singer shared that a lot of the artists were already doing the cyber concept at the time. The singer compromised and chose to combine futuristic cyber elements mixed with space, martial arts, and traditional wear. Thus, Lee Jung Hyun's mystical and bizarre concept was born. Transformed from a rising movie star to a singer, Lee Jung Hyun dropped her first album, Let's Go To My Star, with the concept of space, launching a fresh new flair in the music industry. The album spawned two hit singles, Change and Wa, which announced the birth of an icon here to represent the new millennium. Wa is a high energy dance track that enthralls listeners with its pulsing techno beats infused with traditional Korean instruments. They are one of two reactions viewers have upon first watch. The first is, 
what the fuck did I just watch? Or the second, I didn't know I needed this in my life until now. Personally for me, it was the latter. Since the beginning of her music career, Yi was heavily involved with all aspects of her music and creative process. Her daring and original approach to music made her stand out from her contemporaries. Her music videos were always infused with unique storytelling, and she wasn't afraid to experiment with her style and image through these transformative roles. Her stage outfits were just as elaborate as her costumes were adorned with millions of jewels, sequences, shiny fabrics, avant-garde makeup, and fashionable headpieces. With the help of her stylist slash manager, who so happened to be her older sister Hei Sun, the two were able to bring Jung Hyun's visions to life. Jung Hyun would often carry around a sketchbook where she would design her costumes, all the way down to her stage sets. It was then handed to Yi's sister, who was tasked to hand make three to four props and costumes for Jung Hyun to choose from. For the bulk of her costumes, Yi wanted a historical look. Specifically, Wa's outfits were inspired by the Chinese film Farewell My Concubine. She thought the outfits were beautiful and wanted to try something similar. In addition to her outfits, each costume wasn't complete without her trademark One Eye Red fan in one hand and a peculiar looking microphone in the other. No. This isn't E.T., but it could be a small nod to this popular extraterrestrial character. Aside from her theatrical stage outfits, her pinky microphone instantly became the heart of each live performance. <laughs> Yeah,对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对
되게 많이 싸웠었어요. 막 울고 음. 막 프로토토 오빠 CD 집어 던지고 무슨 눈 있는 부채를 왜 드냐, 정신 나갔냐, <웃음> 손가 마이크가 왜 새끼 손가락이 있냐 막 이러면서 근데 그때 싸워서 방송을 했는데 이제 그게 만약에 안 됐으면 제 아이디어를 못 냈겠죠. 그쵸, 아마 그쵸. 다음 앨범이 안 나오지 않을까. It was also mentioned that E and the producer Che Jun Young did not see eye to eye when it came to her music style. See, he wanted to do an authentic European techno sound, but her producer argued that he wanted to add a Korean twist with Korean instruments. On the day of her debut stage, the singer left the audience speechless. E often opened while with her tracks minus 00001 or GX339 minus 4. Songs not only unusual in names, but also instrumentals. It was said, GX339 minus 4 was E's favorite song to perform before WA. The singer wrote the lyrics in the theme of black holes and is regarded as a hidden masterpiece that combines the heavy sound of electronic beats and the psychedelic vocals of E. Her performance was something never seen before on stage and viewers couldn't look away. In addition, her dance was also a sight to be seen. Despite the lead single's rhythm being fast, Jungkyun would move unnaturally to create an imbalance. In one part of the song, she moves energetically with the background dancers, but then it slows down again when she creates the Taeguk symbol. Jungkyun expressed that at the beginning of her career, she didn't like learning the choreo because she felt awkward about it. Instead, she would get lost in the music on stage and dance freely with no rehearsals. Wha immediately caused a sensation across Korea and sold over half a million copies, becoming her best-selling album. Since the public unexpectedly fell in love with the singer, her agency had no option but to accept her ideas moving forward. As promotions progressed, E's stages only became more theatrical. Eventually, Wha swept the top spots on music programs within a month of its release. In some stages, you can see Lee Jung Hyun bowing in the middle of her performances. This was thanks to her fans for making her song hit number one. In 2002, Italian singer Bandido was accused of plagiarizing Lee Jung Hyun's Wa. Vamos Amigo was also a big hit and topped various European charts. Many fans of E claimed the Italian singer's song sounded incredibly similar to E Jung Hyun's debut single. Therefore, an international lawyer was appointed to claim damages of $5 million against the Italian record label. While Jung Hyun's team was in talks of a lawsuit for copyright infringement, some netizens accused the Korean singer of plagiarism herself. Some pointed out that Lee Jung Hyun's Wa sounded similar to the 1998 hit Protect Your Heart, Brave Heart by DJ Sakin and Friends. At that point in time, it was not uncommon for Korean singers to plagiarize foreign songs. Netizens felt it was hypocritical for E's agency to sue for copyright when they allegedly plagiarized another song. But what do you think? Do they sound similar? Years later, Jungkyun appeared on an episode of Yu Hee Yeol's sketchbook where she revealed the result of the lawsuit. In the end, Bandido admitted to the plagiarism and bought the license for her song. Towards the end of 1999, E promoted her second single Change off the same album. This time, E transformed into a mermaid for her music video and shocked viewers by eating a fish whole. The song starts with the blaring siren, announcing the beginning of a new era, followed by a simple yet intense rhythm, along with her explosive energy pouring out high notes. Change became another sensational song for the singer, as it perfectly matched the time, society, and cultural situation at the time, and perhaps made it even more impactful than Wa. With this single, E became a voice for the new generation. Even 
또 미운 사람이 있으면 확 이렇게 욕도 해버려 주고 싶고 그런데 노래를 이렇게 따라하면서 그런 것들이 간접적으로 좀 해소가 되는 느낌. 3, 40대 아저씨들도 굉장히 좋아하시고요. 청소년들도 좋아하고 그리고 뭐 총선 때 힘페인 성으로 쓰고 싶다고 제안도 많이 들어와요. IMF를 거치면서 느끼는 초시민의 자조적인 한숨과 사회 저변에 흐르는 개혁 의지가 합해져 사회적 신드롬으로까지 확산되는 추세입니다. 현실에 대한 좌절을 바꿔로, 바꿔서 극복하고 어, 새로운 세대로 나가려고 하는 이러한 희망을 아주 잘 표현하고 있는 노래라고 생각합니다. 사회 개혁적인 메시지를 신나게 외치는 이 노래는 현대인에게 청량제 역할을 하고 있다는 평을 받고 있습니다. Change was released ahead of the 2002 general elections. Because the song was so popular, E received various love calls from political parties wanting to use Change to promote their campaigns. The singer ultimately refused each request as she did not want her song to be written in favor of any political party. When it came to her live performances, E created a lot of buzz once again for her costumes. Unlike her siren appearance in the music video, E transformed into a hybrid of a futuristic angel and techno warrior on stage. This time, her costumes were equipped with wings and armor. Unlike her outfits for Wa, which were handmade by her sister, most of Change costumes were made by the film production company called Permanent Art Film. E said it took nearly two hours just to put on these elaborate costumes. In some cases, if her shoes didn't fit, they would have to weld them before the stage with candles. After a while, the singer opted for a simpler style, removing a majority of her armor and wings. And if you thought Junghyun would sing into a regular microphone this time, you'd be wrong. Similar to Wa, the diva sang into a mic placed on the back of her hand, and yes, it actually worked. <laughs> 이 손가락 마이크예요. 이거죠? 어, 이거는 바꿔. 어, 이거는 이... 이거는 바꿔 할때 손 네. 마이크인데요. 네. 이 손에다가 이렇게 다 끼고서 음. 들려요? 예, 지금은 전선 설치를 안 했어요. 음. 그럼 이렇게 하면 이렇게 해야 다 예. 이렇게. 바꿔. 그러면 이렇게. 그럼 이렇게 하지 노래를 여기 두 개를 끼고 있다가 예. 이쪽에도 끼고 있다. 바꿔. 바... <웃음> Change became another big hit and topped various charts and won several awards. Change and Wa firmly established Lee Jung Hyun as one of the top Korean singers throughout Asia. This led Jung Hyun to spend most of her youth dedicated to her music career. Due to the success of her first album, her second album, Lee Jung Hyun 2, resulted in a much larger production. Various tracks were produced by some of the top producers at the time. The album not only features techno tracks, but it included a diverse set of genres from pop, hip-hop, and even new metal. It was also the only album of E's that was promoted with four tracks and five music videos. Her track, You, was promoted as the lead single. You follows the techno sound from her previous work. The concept for this song was an Egyptian goddess. For this album, E flew to Egypt to film the music video and shoot the photos for her album. 
While filming in Egypt, the singer was granted permission to film inside an Egyptian temple. At the time, it was forbidden to film inside for religious reasons. It was said that after seeing Lee Jung Han in her full music video attire, she was granted permission to film because she resembled Cleopatra. This made Lee one of the first people to shoot a music video inside an Egyptian temple. In true Lee Jung Han fashion, Lee performed the single using another unique microphone, this time in the form of a pyramid-shaped ring or snake-shaped headset. For the second promotional song, E sang Give to You, a dance pop track featuring a cute Barbie doll aesthetic. At the time of the promotions, Junkhan dressed as various dolls that changed from stage to stage. In addition, her backup dancers were also wearing these creepy looking masks that looked like they were directly ripped off a doll's face and wore it themselves. Now tell me this isn't nightmare fuel. For the third promotional track, E sang Peace. For the music video, E flew to Russia for the filming. Around the fall of 2000, E promoted Eat Well, Live Well. This song was performed in collaboration with the song's original performer, Dr. Core 911, who were famous in the indie band scene at the time. The original version is titled Max, off the band's first album. Eat Well, Live Well was only performed a handful of times. Criminal, if you ask me, that's one of my favorite tracks off the album. The fourth music video film for the album was her track Feel Me, an incredible dreamy techno song. Feel Me was produced by Peter Raffleson, who co-wrote Madonna's Open Your Heart. The music video shocked many viewers as it showed many nude models. Due to the nudity, the music video was unreleased and can only be viewed on the album's VCD. For that reason, it was not well documented and many fans did not know a music video for this song existed. After many years, the music video was finally uploaded on YouTube. The final music video for the album was Pick. Lee Jung Hen wrote the song to help victims of bullying. Pick was used as a promotional song for the horror movie Harpy, starring Lee Jung Han. Unlike her previous MVs, this one only used clips from the movie. Overall, the second album was not as lucrative as the first. The sales volume was rather low and sold 150,000 units less than the previous. The investment in this album was also rather large compared to the first. Not to mention, Lee Jung Han filmed two music videos overseas. Approximately 1.5 billion won was reported to have been spent on the shooting alone. It was said that E would have to have sold 1 million copies of her album to break even. Critics believed that although the singer tried to expand her reach with various genres, it ended up being a double-edged sword, in the sense that the album sounded more like a compilation album rather than something that sounded cohesive and flowed. Although it was met with some criticism, the second album was still a success in its own way, as E was able to explore her musical capabilities and showed her versatility. A year after the second album's release, Lee Jung Han released her third album, Magic to Go to My Star, a nod to her debut album. For this project, E replaced her producer, Che Jun Young, who worked on her previous two albums with Yunel, the composer for Gift to You. It was also reported that her fourth sister, Lee Hae-ok, wrote the lyrics for track 11, Set It Up yeah, Now. I that your own sister wrote a song for you. Her fourth sister um, studies music right now, and she made a song for her. It's the 11th song, and it's a very sexy song, um, slow, and um, it's a very fun song. With this album, E promoted the single Going Crazy, the first time a non-techno song was selected as her title track. Crazy was very different from any lead single he had promoted with, but it was a very powerful song nonetheless. The song is accompanied by strings and starts with the falsetto voice, and beats changing intensely. Vocally, you can instantly tell that Lee Jung Hyun's vocal methods have developed and improved. The music video tells the story of a woman who witnesses the intimacy between two men. Noticing this, one of the men attempt to kill the singer by burning her alive but fails. After the murder attempt, the man hands over a necklace to the singer, who is now in a wheelchair. In the end, Lee Jung Han ends her own life. 
Lee Jung Hyun said the storyline was loosely based on a true story from her life. For this comeback, E transformed into a magician. This was the first time E promoted with a sexy image. The single made it to the top four on music shows. Um, your previous albums featured um, club techno songs, but there are no techno songs in this music, in this album. Um, the songs in this album feature um, songs that are more classical with um, strings um, and a lot of dance music and some medium tempo music, very comfortable to listen to. Um, I heard that a certain doll was made that really resembles you. Can you tell us about that? She used this doll for her album. Um, she used a hologram over it to make um, the effect more magical. And underground artists in Japan and US have also tried making these dolls too. In the year and a half since her second album's release, the Korean music landscape had shifted and R&B musicians and ballad singers began to see a comeback. As the lead single became less popular, E promoted with the follow-up single Half. Half is an upbeat dance song with an addictive hook and retro concept. Half helped regain the singer's popularity. The song became a hit and caused another sensation in Korea for its dance. Ultimately, this album was another blow to the label's pockets as it did not perform as well as the first two, selling approximately 202,000 copies. In 2002, E took an 8-month hiatus to focus on her college career and majored in movie directing. As for acting, the singer continued to act simultaneously during her music career. In early November, Junkin finally dropped her fourth album, I Heart Natural, with the lead single and my personal favorite from her discography, Adi Adi. <laughs> this album was the singer's attempt to fuse traditional Korean influences with techno, similar to her first album, Let's Go To My Star. Adi Adi was inspired by the chorus for the Korean traditional song, Arirang. For the theme of I Heart Natural, Lee Jung Hyun wanted to go for a quote, wild girl aesthetic, describing herself as a quote, stone age nature loving lady. The dance track became quite popular for its crazily addicting chorus and beat, and was nominated for number one on Inkigayo. The follow-up single, Dada Dada Runaway, highlighted traditional martial arts, and the singer even performed with a large calligraphy brush on stage. Unlike her previous albums, the fourth album saw an increase in promotions and live performances. However, despite her boost in activity, the album received negative reviews and sold less than 200,000 copies. At this point, E realized she could no longer pursue further activities as a techno singer. In the summer of 2003, Lee Jung Hyun came back with the special remix album titled Summer Party with the lead single Summer Dance. For the first time, the singer was promoted with a fresh, youthful image. The following year, Lee Jung Hyun released her fifth album, Passion, inspired by Latin influences, complete with Spanish guitar and flamenco-style tap dance. Her lead single, Follow Me, was a decent attempt to distance herself from the techno genre. Passion was another ill-fated album, as it drew many negative reviews. Due to her declining popularity in Korea, Lee Jung Hyun expanded her activities in Japan. In December 2004, E released her first Japanese EP, Heaven, Come On, which included two of her early hits, Wa and Heaven. Heaven being the OST for the Korean drama Beautiful Days, which became widely popular in Japan. The single ranked 26 on the Oricon charts, and E was invited to perform both singles at the annual New Year's Eve live music show in Japan. In 2005, E focused on Japanese promotions and released two more EPs, Wa Come On and Passion Heavy World, both reaching the top 40s on the Oricon charts. After two years of promotions in Japan, E Jung Han finally released her first Japanese album, This Is Honey. The album was a compilation of her greatest hits sung in Japanese. Later in the fall, E Jung Han released her sixth album, Fantastic Girl, with the lead single, I Love You. <laughs> The single was written by Che Jun Young, who created her biggest hit Wa, and Yuta, who composed her hit Half. Fantastic Girl was a commercial failure, selling a little over 11,000 copies. After another failed album, the singer took a year-long hiatus from all her entertainment activities, though this didn't mean the singer was not busy. While on hiatus, E and her team decided to tap into the Chinese market, making her debut with the single Love Me. The single became a huge success and revived the singer's career. 
Yi Jinghan became incredibly active in China with various EFs, concerts, and dramas. She was also the first foreigner to participate in singing the Beijing Olympics 2008 theme song. Finally, in 2009, three years after her last Korean album, Yi Jinghan returned with the EP Avaholic, a reference to Yi's English name Ava. The album was a grand return for the singer, as a lot of planning and work went into it. Ava was incredible. When you see this video, you're gonna die. Amazing. World class star. Brilliant. The lead single, Crazy, was choreographed by Britney Spears choreographer Brian Friedman. The music video featured models from Dolce & Gabbana and was shot with Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake's touring dancers who were selected through a fierce audition in the United States. And brought back her colorful quirky side. In her live performances, the singer cosplays various iconic female figures such as Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, and Marie Antoinette. On another stage, she had some of her backup dancers dress in some of her iconic costumes from her past singles. In the same year, the Korean singer was invited to open for Lady Gaga for the Fameball tour in Seoul. Since Lady Gaga first hit the music scene, Jung Hyun has been often referred to as the Korean Lady Gaga for her theatrical performances. But I would have to say they're wrong, as it should be the other way around, seeing E came first. In May 2010, E Jung Hyun 007 was released, featuring the title track Suspicious Man. Her return was highly anticipated as the singer released multiple high-quality teasers. Suspicious Man is a high-energy electric pop dance track. The singer showed off her dynamic performance range by introducing a vengeful assassin with short blonde hair. The album received mixed reviews. Some were disappointed with her quality and said it was sloppy. Her live performance was also criticized. During her first comeback stage for M Countdown, the public criticized the singer's stage outfits and choreography, claiming it was too erotic to be shown on TV. On stage, Yi Jung Hyun wore lingerie with fishnet stockings and a garter belt. In the intro to her performance, the public cried that it included moves resembling quote, sexual acts. Regarding the backlash, Yi Jung Hyun responded, it's our first comeback stage, and since it's a cable channel, we performed at a slightly higher level. There won't be such an unconventional performance on network music programs. The album sold a little over 2,000 copies, making it her worst performing album to date. After the huge blow, E took another break from the entertainment industry and returned in 2013 for her first non-album single, B. <laughs> After a three-year hiatus, the Queen of Transformation came back with a horror yet quirky concept. Despite her drop in popularity, E was determined to perform and make music. The music video is almost seven minutes long and produced by E herself with the help of Pak Chan-wook, director of Old Boy. In addition, the music video also features actor Jingwu. V is an electronic pop song fused with elements of swing. It is reminiscent of E's past hits, in the sense that the singer is back with her theatrics. As of now, E has retired from the music industry and has focused solely on acting. In 2015, E starred in the dark comedy Alice in Earnest Land, which won her Best Actress at the 36th Blue Dragon Film Awards and at the 3rd Wildflower Film Awards. In 2020, E starred in the zombie film Peninsula, a standalone sequel to the 2016 film Train to Busan. In 2019, Lee Jung Hyun married her non-celebrity husband and welcomed their first child, a daughter, in 2022. Though she has taken a long break from singing, E returned to the stage in 2015 for Infinite Challenges Totoga Special, where they invited popular singers from the 90s to perform a special concert. E performed a compilation of her greatest hits and reinterpreted some of her most iconic looks from back in the day. In the episode, E cleared the rumors that she has retired from the music industry and said she is still performing as a singer in China. That's why she hasn't thrown away any of her old props or costumes. In 2020, the nostalgic techno hits received love once again when E partnered with Bodyfriend, a global healthcare company, to market their new coffee maker through CF music videos. <laughs>
received an explosion of love from old fans and gained new ones who only recognized her as an actress. Lee Jung Hyun has left a mark on K-pop and remains an iconic and well-respected figure in the industry. She has become an inspiration to many and an example of hard work and dedication. Her performances are still amazing decades later and a testament to how innovative and ahead of her time she was. To this day, many still praise her for her artistic integrity and pioneering style. If you like these type of videos, recommend who you'd like to see in the next deep dive. With that being said, thank you for watching and enjoy your stay.